So if you are given with uh, this matrix A1, uh, what is this expression? X transpose A1 X. So that is X1 X2 uh, multiplied by this matrix A1 into X1 X2. This is equal to X1 X2 multiplied by you can multiply this matrix with this vector so 4 x1 and 3 x2 which is equal to 4 x1 square plus 3 x2 square. So if you have an expression like this one x transpose a1 into x uh, the final expression there is uh, powers of there are powers of 2 in the variable x so such kind of expression is called quadratic expression quadratic form or quadratic expression similarly if you have for example in other matrix a2 for this matrix if you compute this thing a x transpose a2 into x so that comes out to be equal to here we have uh, x1 to the power 2 x2 to the power 2 and here there is power x1 to the power 1 and x2 to the power 2 so such kind of expressions are also called quadratic expressions the power of variables is 2 so quadratic expressions for for example for a 3 by 3 matrix uh, what is this thing x transposed we are x uh, in this case belongs to r3 so for the case of uh, uh, 3 by 3 matrix and x belonging to R3 again you get an uh, quadratic uh, you get a quadratic expression uh, you can expand it uh, that comes out to be equal to A11 X1 square so for a 3 by 3 uh, matrix and uh, x belonging to R3 the quadratic form for a general matrix is given like this one so power of the variables here x1 uh, power 2 and here the power of this is 1 power of this is 1 so both the variables such kind of expression is called quadratic expression yes x transpose a into x that will be this form is called quadratic form that will always be of this form sorry yes for any matrix so here we have uh, this is any matrix uh, this can be any square matrix this has to be a square matrix and we can find the corresponding quadratic form and furthermore uh, this matrix A in this case it is a symmetric matrix this is also a symmetric matrix However, even if this is not a symmetric matrix, we can always uh, write a corresponding symmetric matrix. Uh, let's elaborate this point. First of all, please uh, write the, you have a quadratic uh, expression uh, given by, you have a quadratic expression and you want to write it in this uh, form x transpose a x so you can just compare the situation with uh, this one uh, the entries which uh, uh, the the coefficient which is being multiplied with x1 square uh, will appear over here the coefficient which is being multiplied with x2 square that will appear over here x3 square that will appear over here so 5 uh, 3 2 and here what is that thing x1 multiplied by x2 x1 multiplied by x2 so minus 1 will appear over here and uh, then uh, we have written this term this term this term this term and x2 x3 that will appear over here 
that is uh, 8 and there are no other terms so that can be simply written equal to 0. So, x2, x3, x2, x3, this term will appear over here. So, there is observation. So, here we have x2, x3 as well here x2, x3. So, if you write here, you have already incorporated term, this term or otherwise you can also write uh, it over here. Again, you will get the same expression. So, write 0 over here and 8 here or there is another strategy as well. Uh, we uh, since uh, symmetric matrices they are relatively easier to handle so we would like to write or we would like to have a symmetric matrix corresponding to it uh, that is this quadratic form uh, can also be written into this uh, form 5x1 square plus 3x2 square plus 2x3 square minus half x1, x2. Ye jo aapki observation x2 or x3 ke li, x2, x3 ke li thi, that observation is also valid for x1, x2. Here is x1, x2, x1, x2. So, we have simply split this into two terms, half x1, x2, half x1, x2 plus 4 x2, x3 plus 4 x2, x3 and then we have this uh, quadratic form. Here what is uh, 5 and then 3, 2 and x1, x2 that entry here minus 1 by 2 and there is also uh, here that entry minus 1 by 2 and similarly uh, uh, here is 4 and here is also 4. Is there any term corresponding to this uh, thing term x1, x3? No such term. So, 0, 0. So, that is if we have a quadratic form, we can uh, write it into uh, this particular form that is x transpose Ax and A can be considered as a symmetric matrix. So, yes, uh, this one, quantum matrix, so yes, this is not symmetric, so even uh, for the same thing, you can have uh, a matrix which is not symmetric, you can also have a matrix which is symmetric, so you always prefer symmetric matrices because these are relatively easier to handle. So, for the same quadratic expression, you have obtained a matrix A which is not symmetric, you have obtained another matrix which is symmetric. Uh, so, you will always prefer to have a symmetric matrix. So, for symmetric matrix, this is the possibility, right? Uh, for matrices which are not symmetric there are many possibilities for example this 8 can could have also been written over here yeah, you can split it into 6 and 2 so for a matrices which are not symmetric there are multiple possibilities for if you want to obtain a symmetric matrix there is uh, this possibility so please uh, obtain quadratic form for uh, this uh, expression and obtain the uh, symmetric matrix A for this quadratic form. So, I hope uh, everyone can write it in the quadratic form. Even if you are provided with uh, an expression, uh, for example, this is a quadratic expression where this matrix A is not a symmetric matrix.
you have this quadratic form where this matrix A, this matrix A is not a symmetric matrix. You can uh, still uh, write this uh, in a new quadratic form with matrix A to be a symmetric matrix. So, how you can write it? 5, 5, yes, you are right. So, if you, for example, expand it, this is 3x1 square plus uh, uh, 4 plus 6, 10 x1 x2 plus 2 x2, which can be rewritten in this form 3x1 square plus 5x1 x2 plus 5x1 x2 plus 2x2 square. So, that is here, uh, this is 3 and 2, 5, 5. So, if you have a quadratic expression, you can always obtain a corresponding uh, symmetric matrix. Yes. Uh, yes, you can even do it by observation. Yes. So, here you had a quadratic expression x transposed uh, a x which was given by uh, this uh, thing 3 x 1 square minus 4 x 1 x 2 plus 7 x 2 square. Here you had uh, powers uh, of x 1 and uh, uh, likewise square of x 2 and there was another term which was product of x1 and x2. Uh, you can redefine, uh, you can define another vector y. Uh, how you would define it? We will talk about that one such that uh, this y will be related with x and this uh, same quadratic form can be written into powers of y, only y1 square. Uh, some constant multiplied by y1 square plus another constant multiplied by y2 square. This is called transformation to principal axis. You had a quadratic form with x1 square term, x2 square term and another term which was product of x1 and x2. You can apply some transformation on, on this vector x such that the same expression, the same expression will be transformed into this thing. That is, you will only have y1 square and y2 square. How to do that? Uh, so, if you have this quadratic expression, x transposed a x. So, if this matrix is diagonalizable, uh, then uh, A is equal to X multiplied by a diagonal matrix multiplied by another X inverse and X. This small X, this is a vector and what is capital X? Capital X is a matrix which contains the eigenvectors of matrix A. So, if we define this transformation, that is uh, uh, x inverse into x, x inverse into x is another vector y. If you define this transformation, this is a transformation, y, x is a vector, this x inverse is a matrix, so vector multiplied by uh, a mat vector multiplied by a matrix, we call it a transformation. So, uh, what will be this thing? X transposed uh, into X, what is that? For uh, uh, this uh, uh, symmetric matrices, since uh, this can always be a symmetric matrix, we have just learned that uh, this is uh, always a symmetric matrix, even if it is not symmetric, we can write it in the form of symmetric matrix. So, for symmetric matrix, this is x inverse is equal to 
x transposed x inverse is equal to x transposed why for symmetric matrix this matrix x uh, this is orthogonal and for orthogonal matrix x inverse is equal to x transposed so this is uh, nothing but x multiplied by x so what is x transposed into x x transposed that is y transposed and therefore this quadratic form can be written as this form uh, x uh, transposed uh, so here is uh, transposed here is transposed and there is no transposed over here right x inverse is equal to x transposed so this thing is named as y x uh, inverse into x that is named as y and x transposed into x that is y transposed so this will always be what is a d, this matrix d diagonal matrix so you will have a y transposed into uh, this contains eigenvalues of this matrix A that is equal to lambda 1 square y1 plus lambda 2 square y2 square up to lambda n square lambda not square over here with lambdas y n square so this thing is called transformation to principal axis we had an expression like this one and uh, this was not uh, in uh, this particular form we had in other than the square terms we had these terms as well we defined a transformation which brought this uh, form into this form this is called transformation to principal axis uh, if A is symmetric and furthermore it is diagonalizable it is diagonalizable if it is symmetric then and uh, diagonalizable then this thing will always be satisfied x transpose x inverse will always be equal to x transposed if A is symmetric and uh, x exists for that there is an eigenbasis for that matrix right so you will uh, first uh, diagonalize this matrix you will diagonalize this matrix and then you can do that so uh, we elaborate uh, we shall elaborate this point with the help of example in the next lecture inshallah so any other question